Hello everyone and welcome to Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 3. Today we're going to be talking about assignment and casting. Let's go ahead and open up our program from the previous lesson. And at the top you'll see today's uh, itinerary. Again, we're going to be talking about assignment and what definite assignment is and uh, a little bit more about uh, how assignment works and also the two different types of casting with both implicit casting, which is safe, which we'll learn about in a second, and explicit casting, which is, t is unsafe. So if you remember from the lesson yesterday, you remember that uh, you can assign a variable or data to a variable. So for instance, this character variable can be assigned the letter A, and this uh, integer variable can be assigned this, uh, this number. Now in C Sharp uh, requires definite assignment, so before you use a uh, variable, it has to have a value. Uh, that's basically what uh, definite assignment means. Now also, one thing that we did not talk about in the previous lesson is that you can assign uh, variables, uh, data, multiple times in your program. So we'll give you an example. We'll go ahead and say my care equals B. Okay, so we're overwriting what this was saying previously. And then we'll do that console. Actually, we'll do the system dot console. We'll do it the long ways. And you can remember that uh, because we're using uh, the system namespace, we don't technically have to write system. But it's just a good thing to remember. So we'll do right line. My care equals our substitution parameter. Okay. So then we'll hit uh, Control F5, and you'll notice my care up here equals A, and then it equals B. So you can go ahead and essentially change the uh, the value of a variable multiple times in your program. It doesn't just stay the same thing. That's actually uh, something different, which we'll be talking about in the next lesson. But uh, but just keep in keep in mind that fact. So that brings us to casting. Last time we talked about how you know certain certain variable types have limits. Uh, for instance, you know this has. Uh, a limit that the short, which is smaller uh, than an integer, has limits. So let's go ahead and show you an example of casting. Now, what casting is, uh, just say you want to assign a integer to a long. So we'll give it a shot. My long equals my int. Okay. Now this is going to give us a problem. And if you're, you remember from the last lesson, u is uh, unsigned. And technically, if you look up here, this, uh, this variable we have is signed, which means that it's a negative number and unsigned longs can't hold negatives. So it's basically asking us if we want to do this, which uh, we can if this is something that we really want to do. And we do that by actually putting the type we want to convert to, so unsigned long, in front of here, and you know, then the, the warning or the error goes away. So what happens when we go ahead and print this out to a, a uh, print this out to the screen? It definitely didn't give us the right answer. See, because how in the world do you assign? I mean, it can't hold a negative number, and we just tried to assign it a negative number. So, it, so it's obviously going to give us a problem. Now, just say we converted this, okay, to a 
positive number. Then what happens? And run it. And this time it worked, right? Because even though it could be a, a problem, I mean, we could technically be assigning it a negative number. In this case, the value that we're assigning to the uh, unsigned long is able to be contained within that unsigned long variable. So that'll work. So that's ultimately what an explicit cast is. Uh, we'll give you another example uh, with, with float or um, and integers. So we'll say uh, my int equals, and we'll change this real fast. My double divided by my int. Now, my int is an integer, and it doesn't have a decimal point. Uh, so we know that this just simply, you know, it's going to give us the wrong answer. But if we want to cast this, we can, again, we put uh, you know, the type that we want to cast to in front of the, uh, you know, the variable or the type that's causing us the problem. And then we'll go ahead and run it and see what happens. Actually, of course, I forgot to do this. We'll just change this. My int. int. And put it underneath here. And we'll run it one more time. Zero. So again, we lost data here because we divided 1.1 divided by 20 isn't zero. So that's why it always warns you, or that's why the compiler always warns you whenever you're uh, trying to cast something that is unsafe or where you could lose data. And you have to explicitly cast the type. So that way uh, you, say, you tell the compiler, no, I know what I'm doing. This is what we want to do. The other type of casting is, is called implicit. So for instance, we're always going to be able to fit an integer into a long. So we'll go ahead and show you that now. Of course, because we changed that, it'll give us an error because it's too large. for now my long equals my int and we're not going to get a problem because it's simply it can it'll always be able to fit okay and we'll go ahead and cut this my long my long and of course I got to take the zero out of here so so now we're going to run it, and if we think about it, my long uh, is going to equal my int. My int is 20. My long, obviously, the value will disappear. So we should get uh, my long equals 20 when we run the program. My long equals 20. So uh, implicit casting, uh, it'll never yell at you, or the compiler will never yell at you. It is uh, safe, and you'll never lose any value. Now, one thing to, to note is that many programmers think whenever you're casting a variable, it actually turns into that type. That's not true. Basically, all you're doing is telling the compiler that we're going to not listen to um, the type safety rules right now, and we're going to just let this type uh, or let, you know, a long or short or whatever type of variable work in uh, this particular scenario. So we're not actually doing any converting um, of variable types. We're just allowing that variable to take a place where it expects, you know, an integer or a long variable. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Please, uh, you know, let me know what you think, and we'll go ahead and uh, see you tomorrow.